Mark from Rock Control. Uh, what's Rock Control all about? Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Rock Control is the first time ever that music fans can form a manager band from scratch. So the idea being that music fans will select who they want in their final lineup from auditions around the world. They will then develop the look and feel of the band and make voting decisions on which media opportunities they want to take all with the intention of creating and releasing one song simultaneously into every single chart around the globe. Right, so this, this is accessible for everywhere around the world then? That's right, whether you're a music fan, it takes you to that one step closer, it's a completely interactive experience building your own band, or whether you're an artist, we've had um, 550 auditions so far from 33 countries around the world. Wow, that's tremendous, isn't it? It's crazy, we've had people from UK, Australia, America, but places like um, Iraq was the latest in Israel, so people are really getting on board. Well, and th this is obviously all being done online. Well, yes, it's been launched online, rockcontrol.com, and once the final lineup is selected, they will, from wherever they are in the world, they will be move to a location in London for three months. So the band will be built in, in London, and online the music fans will make all of those decisions and they'll be able to access the band via web webcams and get to know them. So it is online, but it's got an offline reality to it. Right, so what you're looking for is obviously musicians and yes. obviously people to manage the band itself. That's correct. So I'm sure in Spain there are some amazing drummers, guitarists, singers perhaps, um, but also, yeah, music fans. Um, anybody with any interest in music whatsoever and log online and get involved in this uh, groundbreaking experience. Now, I know the internet is used a hell of a lot now for music. Do you, do you think this is a, a way of progressing even further with uh, internet music? Yeah, well, I'm really passionate about doing something from scratch. I'm passionate about music fans taking that step further. There's lots of um, competitions where you simply vote for somebody to win, but this is, this is developing a fan base for a band before the band has even been created. So whilst there's previously been problems with digital downloads and uh, piracy in terms of all that, we're really developing a, a passionate audience who want to see this band become successful before it's even launched. So it is a step further in terms of what we've seen before. You don't think that you could be criticised for sort of getting into the X-Factor mode of creating something which um, is, shall we say, false for the want of a better word, a manufactured band? That is a good comment and uh, there's a good kind of argument for that. However, my response is, in terms of the likes of X Factor, um, the public votes, they phone up and they vote for, for the person to win and therefore the money goes to X Factor for that. And then the single is launched and the money goes to X Factor for the sales of the single. We're creating a whole new experience where it's the music fans themselves who are passionate about music decide everything with regards to this band so actually in terms of manufactured yes it might well be but it's being manufactured by those who really care about these individuals and this band and this artist and this music that's a good answer i like that um what about age i mean are there any age restrictions on people who can get involved in this uh, in terms of being an artist it's basically 16 plus because of the legal legalities of that yeah um however there's no um, nobody can be too old, um, and in terms of being a music fan and signing up to manage the band, well, that's any age. Yeah, okay. So there's hope for me yet, then. <laughs> so are, you, are you a musician yourself? I wish. <laughs> no, I just dream. A bit of a singer. You could be a backing dancer, perhaps. That'd be good, yep, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> so when the, when the final winner is selected and you've actually got the band together, do you have a lineup already in mind, or, or can the lineup be anything sorry can you ask that again sorry yeah um when the final band is actually selected do you already have in mind the lineup that you're looking for it really is a genuine uh, experiment in that sense so the the public will decide the drummer the guitarist the singer and the bass player um obviously the hope is that there'll be a commercial level to that so that you, you know, singles will sell and albums will sell. Mm -hmm. However, if it's completely down to the audience, I believe that they will hopefully 
um, vote on individuals who are talented, who are strong characters, and therefore the possibility of a successful band is is kind of there. So, but it is completely down to the audience. Um, it really is.